Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Kiana and I do a lot of sewing and fashion videos. Today I have a vlog for you and I wasn't going to do a vlog. I was going to put out the video of the tutorial for this red leather dress. However, that girly is taking longer than expected. As always, I always underestimate the time it's gonna take me to complete a project. I did get a bunch of vlog footage of me prototyping and patterning and creating the dress before I went into the final product. And I have some footage of me with swatches and picking out fabrics for other garments in my senior collection. So, I have a little vlog for you today. Okay guys, so I am making the prototype right now. I asked you guys on Instagram what you thought I was prototyping and about 50% of you guys got it right. I think the sleeve threw you off because the bishop sleeve is quite large, but I don't know if it's gonna end up being that large. It might be larger because again, this is the first prototype. So I need to make it out of muslin before I can even start braiding it and all that jazz. And fun fact, I love to rewatch Criminal Minds while I'm sewing. I've watched it so many times, like five times at this point. Woo! Okay, so I just made the prototype for my red leather shift dress. Um, I think I'm gonna take out some of the fullness and the arm here, just because the leather won't gather as nice as this, and this is really gathered, see? So um, I'm gonna take out some fullness. I'm gonna move up the sleeve because it's kind of drooping off of my shoulder, um, probably just by like half an inch or a quarter inch. I'm gonna lower the waistline, maybe a half inch, and take out the curve right here, and then take in the back just slightly, but I don't want it to be fitted because I want it to slip on and off over your head really easily and I want the drama to be in the sleeves and then the dress to be more basic with the interesting like cross top stitching. Okay so you saw this already but I decided that the shift dress was a little bit too boxy and so now I think I'm changing my design and I'm gonna make it not into a shift dress but not fitted not super fitted you know. So I've repatterned everything into panels so now it's double the work. Woo! Very messy. Very exciting. Okay, I'm back. I lied. I literally said that I wasn't going to change the shape of the shift dress and I completely changed it into like a fit and flare, but it's not so Hi, Cody. Cody says hi. Hey. He pinned me. I pinned it. Show, show your wrist. Thing. Chill on, I got protein. But um, it's not super tight because I still want it to have like that loose feel. Like I don't want it to be bodycon. But now I went all the way in the opposite direction. I feel like it flares too much in the skirt but just slightly. Like I need to take out like a half inch of fullness in the front and the back because I'm picky. I need to shorten it probably another inch and then I'm gonna take out some fullness even more in the sleeve even though I already did that. Hopefully next time you see me, I'll be in the dress. Okay, I look horrifying. And I also don't go to Fitum, I go to NC State. Um, I went to a summer camp here once, so that's why I have a Fitum sweatshirt. But guys, 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 unrelated to fashion, but also kind of related because it is a fashion piece. Something wonderful has come in. Here it is, guys. Can you see it? Can you see it? It is a Spencer Reed sweatshirt. I got it in a, wait, what size is this? This is a size extra large. Ugh. See, I'm glad I got an extra large and not a large because I want it to be oversized. If you want this, I will link it down below. I saw it in Megan Rinks. Megan Rinks is a YouTuber, social influencer, all that jazz. I saw it in her Instagram and I saw it and I immediately bought it. I asked for the Matthew Gray Googler one, like this is his character, Spencer Reed, but I asked for the Matthew Gray Googler one for my birthday from my boyfriend. So yeah. Very cute, love of my life. <gasps> Yay! Okay, I'm back and I have my swatches. Okay, I feel like I look awful. I do look awful. It's not a feeling, it's a definite. Um, Sorry, I'm telling you, I don't look good unless it's a filming day and this is a vlog, so, you know, it's just, it's just too much work to get ready. Here's the thing, my swatches for my collection have come in, so let's, look through them okay so these are the swatches that came in i have of course my leather already this is not a swatch this is what i already had and then these are the swatches that came in i got them all from fabric.com love fabric.com this 
is a stretch satin that I think I'm going to use for the pants. I was originally going to do a crepe and I ordered this crepe and this crepe as well. I think it's this is a Rand crepe and this is a regular polyester crepe. I don't really like these. I also don't like the color. They're very like a dusty mauve rose color. And I like how this is like a nudie pink. Um, so this is cute. Also, it's nice and like thick enough where I could make a blazer out of it also, but I could also make pants out of it. So I really like this material. So I think I'm gonna use this for the pants. This is out. This, <laughs> I ordered a yard instead of a swatch because this one didn't come in a swatch and the yard was also pretty cheap. So I have a whole yard of this. So what should I make out of it? Let me know. And then this is the bamboo rayon knit that I'm gonna use for the t-shirt, um, like the t-shirt with the exposed serged seams. So soft, guys. If you want a really soft t-shirt material, rayon is the way to go. And this is the bamboo rayon, so it's, oh my God, it's so soft. I love using bamboo rayon for t-shirts. This is my go-to, so I already knew I was gonna love this. And guess what, I do, also pretty opaque. It's pretty opaque. So this is the move, guys. And then lastly, I ordered some round crepe for the long black gown and neither of these are gonna work. <laughs> the, the weave is like so loose, like it you can like, can you see through it? You can kind of see through it. Actually, in person you can really see through it and this is just not like what I thought I was going to be getting. So I'm gonna have to go back to the drawing board and find new fabrics for this. I should have vlogged more today. I had a class today. I had a class from 12.45 to 5.15 senior studio from home. I'm going insane and I always feel like I'm gonna lose it. I sit in this room, my office, all day. Literally from when I get up, I get up really early because that's when I'm most productive. And I work in this room until basically I go to sleep. Um, you know, sometimes take breaks, sometimes I hang out with Cody. But most days I will literally just work in this room from when I wake up to when I go to bed because sewing is my hobby, it is my school, and it is my work. So every aspect of my life is sewing. So it all just blurs together and I call it work um, because it is work. So I just spend all day in this room. Also, my apartment does not have central AC or central heating, whatever, so I don't heat the whole apartment. So I work from home all day and I stay in this room because we have baseboard heating, so I only turn on the heating in this one room. The rest of the rooms are literally freezing. It's like the temperature it is outside in our apartment. So it's cold, I put on my jacket to go get food, to go to the bathroom, and then I run back in here to continue my day um, because it's really expensive, it's not really expensive, but it's too expensive for me to be heating the whole house while I'm working here. Unfortunately, perks of working at home, I don't have a comfortable work environment. I'm feeling like I'm going a little bit crazy, honestly. I feel like I just need to leave. I wanna go to Taco Bell, but I'm trying really hard not to spend money. <gasps> I really want tacos, but I also can't tell if I'm just bored or hungry. Guys, I came. Can you tell I'm losing it? Oh no, bye. I got a Baja Blast. I got cinnamon twist, cheesy gordita crunch, crunchy taco. I got some mild and hot sauce, but you know, they never give me enough mild and hot sauce and a lot of times they forget, so don't worry. I have Taco Bell mild and hot sauce because I am their biggest fan. Hello, it is a new day. I've calmed down, recollected myself, and I'm ready to go. Look at me, look at this. Hi, Spencer Reed, hi. As always, I've been watching Criminal Minds while doing my makeup. I'm gonna continue patterning. I patterned yesterday, like the whole day after class. So today, I think I'm gonna pattern the whole day after class. Hopefully, I can finish my pattern for my dress, where it's the prototype. It's just a lot of work to make sure all the grading and stuff is right. Yeah, you know, it's a lot of work. So hopefully I can get the patterning done and tomorrow I can do the sewing, hopefully. I just wanna sew, sewing is the most fun you know, seeing something come to life. But unfortunately, there's just so much technical work that I have to do beforehand. Sad, but still fun. You guys ever get the urge to just quit what you're doing and make something spontaneously because this fabric is on the ground and it's calling my name. Okay, also because I have makeup on today, I also just filmed my intro for this red leather dress um, because I have makeup on and who knows when that's gonna happen again. 
let's be real. I like doing my makeup and hair, but like I don't like doing it when I have to do it. So since it's done today, I'm like, let me just get this filming stuff done because I don't want to waste time and have to do that again. Here is my intro setup. I have my main camera that I use. I use the Canon EOS Rebel T6i hashtag throwback to old YouTube. Remember when everyone was using this camera? Makeup by Mandy24, Mandy Bragg, that era of YouTube. Um, that's why I got this camera. I always wanted to start a YouTube, so that's it. Um, I don't use this microphone. I don't really like the shotgun mic just because I'm not super close to the camera. It doesn't work that well. I know the Rode like video mic pro works pretty well, but this was $25. <laughs> it is the tack star um, and it works better than the actual camera mic. The camera mic is awful. So this is cheap for this if you want to try it out. What I use for my actual sound is this blue snowball ice. It is the cheapest option of all the blue microphones and it works good for me. So this is what I use. And then for editing software, I use Filmora 9. I think it's like Wondershare Filmora 9 because it was like $75 for a lifetime. So inexpensive and still good quality. And that's what I'm all about. This is my filming setup though. I film in my dining room because this is like the only place I have a good light source. This is the wall that you guys usually see. And I film like at an angle because if I film this way, you're gonna see my messy living room. And if I film here, you get a little bit of the mural and a little bit of plant. And that plant is not usually there. It's usually in the living room. I don't even have a dog also. Oh my God, you guys know my dog, but it's not my dog. His name is Bentley and he's my mom's dog. And sometimes you see him in videos because sometimes I dog sit him, but his cage is here right now. Tell me what you just told me. I'm defeated. Oh, cause we're about to watch The Bachelor. I was gonna come back and I was gonna have a little rose that I picked up at a gas station. And I was gonna say, welcome to the rose ceremony. And then just give you one, but one to three places. Nowhere <laughs> I appreciate the gesture. It's the thought that counts. Yeah, so kind of a bit of a random vlog over a few days, me sporadically sewing and doing fashion things, but hope you enjoyed it. It's the content I had for you. So I will have that leather dress tutorial out next week. Hopefully, no, definitely. I will have it out for you. I have to get on the move, but I have been moving, so. I just wish I had more time in a day. But anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. See you next time. Bye.